Wear the Gown, brought to you by CHI St. Vincent. Wendy Chapman of Lone Oak would rather not be on TV, but she volunteered for gown duty, hoping her story could maybe save a life. THV 11's Craig O'Neill introduces us. Wendy Chapman enters the front door of the Blandford building just two weeks after being on death's door. She is here to see Dr. Thurston Bauer, cardiothoracic surgeon with CHI St. Vincent's. Hey, Ms. Chapman. Hey. She'd gone to one ER for the flu, returned home, and had gotten worse. The next morning, she went to the CHI St. Vincent ER. Because I was screaming with my back hurting. They said my eyes were rolling back in my head. The progression of the problem that you had in your lungs was incredibly fast. Dr. Bauer was brought in because the ER doctors were losing what they thought was a flu battle. Wendy was going into acute respiratory failure. She was dying on the way to the operating room. Immediately, she was hooked up to an ECMO machine. More or less taking over the, pa the work of the patient's lungs. Tubes are inserted and the blood leaves the patient's body and circulates through the ECMO machine and then back into the body at seven liters per minute. That's great. Your lungs are clear as a bell. The ECMO therapy worked when it counted the most. I really believe that even 10 minutes, 10 minutes longer may have been too long. If it wasn't for that machine, I probably wouldn't be here. She was passed out and incoherent for 12 days, but on the 13th day, she woke up. I was wondering where I was and what was going on. And the mother of two children was immediately thankful. Glad I was still alive to be their mom. Yeah, your heart's in there. <laughs> it's encouraging they can joke. I asked how it felt for Dr. Bauer to know that all that training and the relatively new technology at CHI St. Vincent was saving lives like Wendy's. It's, uh, it's the reason that I come to work every day. And he knows that her story and others like it, as well as those involving ECMO therapies, need to be told. I would hate to think that somebody died because they didn't know that we could do this. Wow, truly saved her life. Mm -hmm. Wendy Chapman, we're happy to report, is doing well. She's been given a clean bill of health. It is now believed she had a virus that was eventually defeated because of the ECMO therapy that had brought her lungs time to get healed. Wow, incredible and incredible, too, that even though I know she did want, not want to be on camera, Greg mm -hmm. told us, she still chose to do so in order to save a life. Right, and it, that's all it takes. It just takes going, getting checked out mm -hmm. because, you know, sometimes you don't have the symptoms. Sometimes mm -hmm. you just, you, you don't know. So it's always best to just be, you know, cautious of that and be proactive instead mm -hmm. of reactive. Wear the gown.